A police chief in one northeast Mississippi town leads the nation when it comes to identifying what drugs are causing drivers to be impaired. Our Allie Martin has more on the chief and how he is helping train other police officers to prosecute uh, to help prosecutors rather tackle one of the biggest fronts in the war on drugs, the roadways. Whenever the Highway Patrol or other agencies stop a suspected impaired driver, a standard field sobriety test is conducted. If the driver isn't under the influence of alcohol but still has signs of impairment, known as DUI other, Sherman Police Chief Joe Spellins is often called to meet the arresting officer and the suspect at the nearest jail for more in-depth testing. There's not really an intoxilizer for drugs, so we do evaluations that help show what a person is impaired on and show that there is impairment and then can testify in court as an expert witness as to their impairment and what substance they were taking. Chief Spellins is a certified drug recognition expert, also known as a DRE. He completed extensive training to detect and identify people under the influence of drugs other than alcohol. DREs can also identify the types of drugs a driver has taken. Spellins has led the nation two years running in DRE evaluations, performing 151 in 2019 and 185 last year. He says marijuana is the most common drug used by impaired motorists other than alcohol. They think, you know, it's like they talk about when they smoke marijuana that they're going to drive slower and, you know, I'm all careful. They're actually not. Actually, the number one probable cause ticket for a DUI other than marijuana is speeding. They're like I said, it messes with your time and distance, so they think they're going slow, but they're actually running 95 mile an hour down the highway. Chief Spellins is in charge of DRE training for the entire state. He knows that more officers with DRE certification means more impaired drivers off the road and more lives saved. The increased training by the local agencies to actually be able to determine somebody's impaired on something is really getting a lot better now just due to the the high usage by the motoring population. Sherman Mayor Mike Sword says having the nation's leader in DRE evaluations is a big honor for the tiny town. That speaks volumes uh, for the amount of time and work that Joel's put into it and how seriously he, he takes his job as, as chief. So we're extremely proud of Joel and his service. There are several DRE trained officers in the area and around 40 across Mississippi. In Sherman, Allie Martin, WCBI News.